Esports is growing each year, and so is the list of titles to play. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is one of two new games to the esports lineup in New Mexico. It's Nintendo's most popular racing game. For me personally, I played it a lot when I was younger on just the Wii. Um, so it's really nostalgic for me and it's, I've been playing it my whole life and I'm sure that's what a lot of other students like too. My first game was the on the Wii and it was Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii. Teams of four players take control of their favorite Nintendo character and everybody has a favorite. Dry Bones. Orange Shy Guy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Luigi fan. Players then customize their cart before hitting the road. The main goal of the game is to be the fastest, you know, as any race game. But there's a lot of things that you have to take into account with the carts that you use. So it's important to pay attention to, you know, the traction and the um, handling of your cart and your wheels and whatnot. Schools go head to head on a randomized track with all different twists and turns and face off in three rounds of six races. Each player on a team receives points based on how they place in each race. And the team with the most points after six races wins the round. The first team to win two rounds wins the match. 40 to 22, that's not bad. No. It takes critical thinking and fast reflexes. It, it, it does take a lot of skill to become a good Mario Kart player. I like connecting with my friends here. It's really fun. You can make a lot of new friends. I know I've met so many new people um, just from, you know, stepping in here. I'm planning on getting a varsity jacket and a letter, a letter jacket. Um, so it's really cool. I didn't know I would have that opportunity, but it's exciting. The esports coach said that we could compete here. And I was like, wow, that could be really cool. It's like actual sports. So I, I thought maybe I could get a letter for a letterman jacket here. And I was like, wow, I actually can. I'm already at the turn. Where are you at, man? Esports requires communication, teamwork, and creativity. The same qualities needed if you're on a field or a court. This competition just happens to take place in a classroom on a computer. Some people get scholarships for just playing video games, for just doing esports. Just It brings me back to those people who are just saying, video games you're not going to get anywhere in life, and look at it now. For the New Mexico Activities Association, I'm J.P. Murrieta.